What is the most OP build for Ignatz in Fire Emblem Three Hopes? Ignatz is super fun to play. His unique paint ability makes him one of the most interesting characters in the game. But how do you build for such an ability? Today, I'm gonna show you how to turn Ignatz into the painter he always wanted to be. I present to you, Ignatz the Humble Painter. The class of choice today is Bonite, but with that being said, Ignatz will work with multiple classes. The build will vary a little bit, but if you really just don't like Bonite, you could use this build as a template for another class. I chose Bonite for a few reasons, the first of which is it's super fitting for Ignatz, and secondly, there are very few characters that could take advantage of the Bonite's kit. So this is a great opportunity to make another bow wielding character. Our bow of choice is gonna be the inexhaustible. Under normal circumstances, we wouldn't be able to wield this bow, but if you use the water dragon sign as an accessory, not only can you wield the bow, but you can also gain its passive effect of enhanced healing. The bow itself comes with two abilities. Divine Glow restores a large amount of HP at regular intervals, which is only further enhanced by the bow's healing boosting effect. The second ability is Relentless Barrage. This ability reduces our combat art cooldowns by 50% which when partnered with some of the lower cooldown bow abilities results in an infinite amount of combat arts. As mentioned above, our accessory is Water Dragon Sign, which gives us a 10% chance for a combat art to be ready again immediately after using it. If there was any doubt that we wouldn't have infinite combat arts, this crest should change that. Our battalion of choice is Resist Armored Units, but truthfully, you could also resist axes and you would gain a few extra classes on the list. Our combat arts are gonna be Point Blank Volley and Precision Volley. These abilities are the best ones I've found to cause as much paint activation as possible. Point Blank Volley is good against groups of enemies, while Precision Volley is good against tighter groups of commanders. Both abilities do decent damage too, and that is just enhanced further by the paint effects. Ignatz has three unique abilities, the first of which is called Dreamer's Paintbrush. This ability is what the whole build is based around. This ability causes paint splatter whenever you send enemies flying. The paint will be different colors, and depending on those colors, you will get a different elemental effect when enemies step into the paint. This ability is super fun to play with. Our second unique is Watchful Eye, which greatly increases the crit hit rate of strong attacks. Bows generally have some pretty good strong attacks, most of which send the enemies flying, so this is a welcomed ability for sure. Heart's Desire reduces damage received by 50% when ordered to seize. Bowfare increases the crit hit rate when using a bow, and Gauntlet Buster level 4 increases our damage against gauntlets by 95%. As for our abilities, as usual, watch till the end to see where I got each one. Bow Prowess increases our damage by 30% when using a bow. Impossible Feat greatly increases our damage to foes while above 25% health, but also causes us to sustain some damage. This is where our regen effect from our weapon comes into play, it's just enough to keep us topped off. Apex Bow increases our crit hit damage, while Boost Critical further boosts our crit hit chance. Archer's Ploy increases our crit hit even further when using class actions, which normally I wouldn't bother with. But, our charged arrow attack not only does some serious damage on this build, but also knocks back enemies the same way Precision Volley would. Fiendish Blow increases the effect of all of our elements, which is a no-brainer for this build since our entire kit is built around causing elements to activate via our paint. Burst of Valor restores the Warrior Gauge with each critical hit. Another great reason to be stacking all this crit hit chance. Nullify Cavalry effect effectively gets rid of our cavalry weakness. Dexterity Catalyst increases our warrior gauge fill rate proportionate to our dex, which just so happens to be our highest stat. And finally, Nullify Magic, which does exactly as the name implies. It nullifies enemies' offensive magic. For this build, our most important stats are both strength and dex. Normally I would say speed as well, which wouldn't hurt the build, but it's not nearly as important as it is in other builds. This is due to the fact that we already have a crazy fast cooldown, with or without the speed. And this build focuses more on the warrior gauge than the awakening gauge, so you won't have as many opportunities to awaken generally. To get the proper stat distribution, you want to level Ignat 60 times as Wyvern Lord, to get a big boost to our strength and a small boost to our dex. 
Then another 60 levels as Bow Knight to get a decent boost to our strength and a huge boost to our decks. This should boost your strength just above 100 and your decks around 110. Of course, this depends on your luck. I don't think this character needs stat boosting items, but if you really want to get the extra oomph in, feel free to boost strength just a bit. Our combat loop is very fun this time around. We charge into battle with our combat arts, which were all chosen to cause the most paint gain possible. You're going to note that the entire field gets filled with your paint with each combat art used. You could throw in your class action, which is just as strong and just as good at spilling paint as your combat arts are. All the while, you're charging up for your warrior specials. I like to save the warrior specials for the stronger enemies that I have a harder time with. I'll be honest. Sometimes I actually choose not to use the warrior specials at all, just because I want to see all that paint splatter. Your combos are also strong, so don't forget to throw those in once in a while. Now as for where I got each ability, bow prowess is from fighter, sniper, and bow knight, impossible feat from dark bishop, apex bow and boost critical from sniper, archer's ploy from archer, fiendish blow from warlock, burst of valor from trickster, Nullify Cavalry Unit from Holy Knight, Dexterity Catalyst from Bow Knight, Nullify Magic from Dark Bishop, Hunter's Volley from Sniper, and Precision Volley from Bow Knight. If you liked today's video, consider dropping a like and subscribing. Let me know in the comments what character you want to see next.